so we're back to see if a difficulty change makes us feel any differently about the game. I'm feeling the answer is no, but we could just see what the other characters are like. Thank you for the welcome back. Challenging difficulty setting for action game pros. Sure, we'll do that one. So we're going to focus as Angela first, which I think will be a more difficult start because she is not melee oriented at all. As a reminder, she is a mage. <laughs> we will be meleeing with her for the majority of the opening of the game. I'm Angela, Princess of Altana. Then I guess we'll do Durin here. So these characters have a paired story, so we'll actually see what the deal is with Loki, the Golden Knight, etc. I'm a soldier from Volsena. The name's Duran. And finally, Chat has picked for our final character to complete the story of Charlotte. So we're going to pick Charlotte. I'm Charlotte, resident beauty of Wendell. Okay. So I feel like with this order, I'm going to get a melee character sooner, which is what I would prefer. I feel like we also pair the characters with similar stories to join up sooner, which I think makes sense. And as a reminder, if you pick Charlotte, she tends to start delayed. So you get her later in the dungeon than normal. So I don't think there's really a downside to putting her second or third, I mean. But I think there is a downside to making her second if it's like the SNES version. So let's see what Angela's story is about. The kingdom of magicians. The true queen's magic was all that kept the freezing temperatures of the surrounding snowy lands at bay. But as the mana of the world grew weaker, so did her power. Bit by bit, the ice and cold began to encroach on the castle. Citizens, we all feel the magic draining from the land as mana weakens. For our mighty kingdom of Altena, this is of grave concern. We shall not sit idly while our country crumbles. No, no, we must open the forbidden portal to the sanctuary of mana, and then we can obtain the sword of mana. I thought that we tried to manage the Be still. Legend says the portal to the sanctuary of mana only appears after activating the mana stones throughout the world. Obviously, no country would willingly give up a precious mana stone, so we expect a certain amount of resistance. We shall muster our strength and take the mana stones by force. Our true queen will obtain the sword of mana to rule her magic empire! Long live the true queen! Glory to Altena! Oh, come on, Jose! Please! Harsh! No need to shout, your highness. Honestly, you know, I used to be the sharpest of the great magic users in the Altanish court. Yeah. Whoa, 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 hang on. I do not need another trip down your winding memory lane. Just teach me the rest of yesterday's lesson. <laughs> I've told you time and time again. You cannot use magic simply by learning the steps. Your magic has not manifested because you rely on form instead of spirit. Oh, please, not another lecture. Fine, I just won't ask for lessons anymore then. Take that. Oh, this child. Look, there's Victor. Hey, Victor! Hey! Oh, uh, morning, your highness. 
Have you finished your magic lessons already? You know, Jose complains to me whenever you skip lessons, right? But please consider my plight next time, Your Highness. Angela, princess and heir to the throne of Altena. With a heavy burden dogging her steps, Angela grew up fatherless in the shadow of her mother's royal duties. Her childhood was extremely lonely. Instead of affection from her mother, it seemed all she received were scoldings. Though she knew that the queen had important responsibilities that kept the two from playing, that knowledge didn't stop Angela's frustrated tears. Starved for attention, the princess grew into a rebellious youth. She often acted out, playing pranks on members of the court. Though Angela became a renowned beauty, much like her mother, she remained woefully unable to wield the magic power of her bloodline. That lack of talent was never far from her mind. Ugh, I am so bored. Why does nothing ever happen around here? <laughs> Chan, I've so, so the problem is like if the game does like a lot of voice dialogue back to back without giving a break in between, it's kind of hard to do commentary with the game. But man, this character is not relatable to me at all. And I agree, Chad. I love that like the world's getting colder and then like only the men are dressed in warm clothes. <laughs> Just like No, does she do that every time I jump? Oh, that's that's actually horrendous. Holy, remind myself, don't jump. Please, please never jump. Oh my gosh, no. That is actually horrendous. I should look for items while I'm here. Although sadly, we don't have the treasure finder anymore. I'll talk to you to advance the plot, I guess. Your Highness, Victor was searching for you. Thanks, character who's not relevant to the plot. Hmm. Morning, so hard to get supplies nowadays, yada yada. Sure, we'll save over our games. Yeah, yeah, I know what the save files are, jeez. I wish I could reorder my saves. I guess I'll do this one. Kind of unfortunate. I'm definitely gonna load into the wrong file at some point, I guarantee it. Um, uh, not seeing anything of interest here. I just say likes to take walks on Labyrinth of Ice and Frost, but fails to believe that's where the Mana Store is located, which we already know from the other playthrough it is. True Queen is able to keep Altina in Perpetual Spring, the flowers seem to be... Wilting... Slash Withering. Dot 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 from her. Mental boost. There we go. Oh yeah, did we get any interesting abilities? Yeah, yeah, we know about training skills, whatever. <laughs> Magic recoil. These are not going to be back when magic is successful. That's kind of interesting. Too bad I don't really want to level strength first. Cyclone is luck to unlock? Ill. Holy Ball is spirit. What do we get for int? We get nothing for int? Seriously? Ooh, that's... That's what we'd like to call a bad start. This character is entirely intelligence-based for damage, as far as I'm aware, with maybe an exception to Holy Bolt. Are you telling me that I don't get any spells for leveling Int first? Why? Big yikes, chat. So, I mean... <sighs> Diamond Shards is Earth Damage. She doesn't start with any spells, right? Lunch forward. Yeah, so she starts with no spells, and I don't learn them until I get more levels. Yikes. Nothing like being a mage with no spells, chat. That is a choice. I hopefully get fireball pretty early or something, question mark, hopefully. 
We'll see, I suppose. So the boiler room of Castle Tina mentions he keeps the flames lit with her magic. The flame looks smaller as of late. Okay. I will pick up initial items since I think candies will help us a lot. Oh, her... she does it while dodge rolling. That is actually horrendous. Chat was complaining about Charlotte before. I gotta, I gotta listen to Eek every time I dodge roll. That's horrible. Your queen is an important meaning, something about fate of the kingdom. Crimson Wizard is with her. I believe it's a war console. Okay. Something tells me I'm not going to be dodge rolling very much in this game chat. Something tells me. Alright, so we're not allowed to go here until the war console is over. Is there anything else worth finding, like behind the trees? So sadly, we're gonna have to refine the cactus again. I think the cactus did add some quality of life gradually to the game. But yeah, I'm gonna try really hard not to dodge roll because I do not like her eking every time I do it. It's quite horrible. The crimson wizard is training the mages harder than ever. I heard some were injured, but I suppose that's one of the dangers of war. I'm not sure. But the Crimson Wizard might be as powerful as Her Majesty the Queen now. Oh, there you are. Uh, Your Highness, the Queen and her advisor have called for you. Uh, I will wait for you in the gardens. Now is not the time to dawdle. Please hurry, Your Highness. Fifty hmm. percent uh... chance that enemy magic will do zero damage. Okay, that's actually kind of interesting. Double checking here. Okay, so if I go spirit, I can get holy bolt. Oh, recover MP after getting a kill. Oh, okay, never mind. We're going spirit first. I was trying to think based off of what we saw, what I would do. I kind of like magic armor. Enigma might not be bad for long term if we're looking to not get targeted. So if we have like Durin, for example, take all the aggression from us, he might also have something that pulls enemies. I imagine it'll be like taunt or provoke or something like that. So possibly in combination with Enigma, I could get away with not needing to have the enemy target me at all with her. So that's, that makes my spell casting much easier. Yeah, th I think we have to go for early spells because if we get spirit, then we can at least do holy bolt. And I could get two MP per battle, which is good. This is urgent. Her Majesty is preparing our troops to invade Valsena across the sea. We must go to her, Your Highness. Well, time to head to the throne room. This is how the game is harder, not hard mode, but you're just incentivized to dodge less because it eeks. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what if you just had to dodge everything? Hmm. So I imagine uh, we'll talk majesty. after this. I believe you sent for me. Angela, allow me to explain. As you know, we must control the mana stones to gain access to the sanctuary. That is the reason for our invasion. Legend says if we activate the energy of the mana stones in the world, the portal will open. And we don't question legend. 
We shall begin with the Altenish Mana Stone. Uh, how will you do that? We will use a forbidden magic spell, outlawed because it takes the life of the Enchanter in exchange for that mana energy. However, my associate and I are too important for this sacrifice. If we use your body as a vessel for that cursed magic, your death would act as the catalyst we need to release the Mana Stone's true power. But, 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 but mother! You've been a useless blight on my lineage for far too long. To think that my daughter could be so weak and powerless. Under these circumstances, sacrificing yourself for the spell is the most fitting end for my heir. Now come, my child. N n no No! She's gone! Hmm... Just a casual sacrifice. How self how selfish we are, Chaff, for not dying to it. Uh, no. Where? I'm outside the castle. But why why would my mother I can't return. I can't return, but I have no idea what to do now. Wasn't there a village to the east? That might be my only option at this point. Hmm. Actually, it's just realizing something. Let me go back to where this one was. Ah, uh, so it did have a little lock icon. So, okay. So we know from a meta perspective, we won't get Holy Bolt until after we beat the first boss of the game. We have to fight Full Metal Hugger. Specifically. It, well, I'm not sure if it'll be our, technically our first boss, but the first boss that unlocks an element <laughs> will be Holy. So I guess there's not really a reason to do some of these other ones at all either. But that also means that going for early spirit doesn't matter. So maybe it's better that I get luck first? Because I, I can't cast spells anyway. Again, why... Why not just even just give you a basic spell? Like low damage, non-elemental. Also, what's going on with the graphics in this game? Is chat noticing this, or is it only visible on my screen? It might only be visible on my screen. When I move like this, there's like a weird aqua line on like the terrain. I don't see it on the chat preview though. It's very, it's very distracting to me. It's kind of like everything, if you look at like the brightest blue on the screen, it's like that just gets covered on everything when I rotate the camera. It's very weird. That would be too kind. Yeah, you're right. Sleepy fish chat. Yeah, we're a mage with no magic powers. Combat tutorial enemy. I actually, won. I think. So I guess the question I will ask to chat: Would you prefer me to be a light magic user or dark magic user? Because I think if we go light path versus dark path, that will literally be the spell that I focus on. Does chat have a preference that they'd like to see?
Yeah, we got time for it. I imagine light would be pretty overpowered because nothing resists it. So I'm curious if they would try to balance that with dark to just have like more raw intelligence for the other abilities. Maybe like that way the other are more close, so she'll stop freezing. Game, I know how to train. Question is, do I even want to train this early? Do I just go stamina this early? Hmm. It's mostly what I'm thinking about. I mean, I, I do want to get spirit at some point, but the MP doesn't do anything. Maybe I'll just go magic armor early. Yeah, I know how to equip an ability. 50% chance to just ignore damage, even if I'm controlling the characters pretty big. Because there are a lot of spells that happen in the game. I guess with hard mode, I have to somewhat care about my combos. Oh, I was curious what would happen if I tried going to the stone early. Also, Angela, no, your face. You've become wallhead. No. <laughs> Angela, no. <laughs> Eek indeed, chat. Can you imagine if you could have jumped, like, if, if you, like, wedge yourself in the corner, if you could just jump over this wall? I feel like you could probably do that. Again, I will try not to dodge because I do not want to hear eek 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 all, all day with this character. Yeah, so imagine we'll like dark would go dark force, light would go lucent beam, I think it's called. Based off of what we saw from the other gameplay. I'm not sure which one would focus on multi elements, maybe it's dark. And light literally only focuses on light damage. But to be fair, most enemies only took light damage. With the exception of maybe the post-game boss, it looked like I had to do some different elements. Unless there's an ability that negates elemental resistance. Which, honestly, I'm not sure if that would be on the light or the dark side. I guess we'll find out eventually. It's too cold. I can't take another step. I want to go home. Please, mother. Please. It's true, if only she wore better clothes. Game over. <laughs> that was such an awkward cut. Chat, I promise you I didn't hit a skip button there. It just went from that like, bum, 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 like the sleeping music at the end to just... Oh, good. Jarring town music. My daughter found you in the snowfields. Hmm? We brought you back to Ulrent. Please rest until you feel well. Cheery, look! Our guest woke up! <laughs> We're so condescending! Yay! Can I play with her? Huh? Can I? No, don't bother her. But I'll play with you. Yay! Well, there's an only child that can be a bit overprotective. No, I shouldn't, but I just can't help spoiling her. I feel like they had the same dialogue when we played the first time here. 
It is interesting we start in the snow town. She's probably had the most dramatically different start compared to the other characters we played. Like, Kevin basically left for Rolia and went straight to the other town. But here we are, we're in like the snow hamlet. That's pretty different in terms of locations. I'll go for a walk to ease my mood. I know, she didn't even get slapped. Is she a real party member? I don't think she is, Chad. Fake party member. I'll eek for chat there. Uh, now I'm trying to remember from the first time we played where the treasure chests were. I don't fully remember all of them. Because again, it would benefit us greatly to get these early. Like, chocolate is a really good alternate heal source. You must be cold if the thoughts all you're wearing outside. Yup. It's almost like we live in a snow kingdom and aren't dressed appropriately. Okay, so now we can take a boat to go to the other place. Take a look at the weapon store. We can only buy the current weapon that we have equipped, which I don't get why they would even offer that as a choice. That honestly seems pretty insulting to offer. It's like, hey, are you dumb enough to buy this without checking your stuff? Get wrecked. So we can't go this way because, quote, I can't return. Cool. So anyway, um... I don't see anything else of interest here, so we'll go inside for now. How about the magic pot? Whatever. Ma'am, I don't know what to do. Please give me guidance. Hmm. Sometimes people lose any last spark of hope and fall into the deepest despair. <laughs> when that happens, you must go to Holy City Wendell and seek advice from his eminence, the Priest of Light. The Priest of Light? To find your way through the darkness of despair, you will need a guiding light. Go to Wendell, child. That is your fate. Huh? Come on! This fraud told me the same thing. <laughs> Go to Wendell or whatever. All I asked was whether my next child was going to be a boy or a girl. Well, time to believe the fraud. Because we know we have to go there. Holy City Wendell, huh? I don't know what awaits me there, but I guess it's bound to be better than getting caught here in my own kingdom. I'll go. I mean, nothing could possibly be worse than staying cooped up in the castle. And if I learn how to handle my magic, maybe my mother will welcome me back. <laughs> There's a chance, at least. That is very wishful thinking. Heart heavy with the Queen's rejection. Angela left Altena as a wanted criminal with a price on her head. <laughs> and also silly hat on her head, exactly. Yeah, who would have thought the queen in the middle of the Snow Kingdom was cold-hearted, chat? Who would have seen that coming? Truly an unexpected twist of fates. So yeah, the beginning of the game, as I said before, going to be real rough because we don't have any spells. None of our abilities are honestly useful and we're not going to be leveling strength. So we're just going to have to power on through. 
So I guess the beginning of the game makes me play a little differently because I actually have to stun combo versus just area attack kill everything. Kevin was so strong I ignored the combo system. Maybe this time I will actually be forced to do something by going the literal opposite of Kevin. the docks now my ship's stuck in the harbor until who knows when oh no it's stuck in the harbor oh come on now how am i supposed to get to Wendy? i don't know what i was expecting but i don't like the look of these beast men at all. <laughs> every time i miss the item grab i gotta listen to that that's how you know i miss input Alright, so they're not technically in treasure chests, but I know there's some items we could get up here. I'm still gonna keep combat somewhat minimal. I'm just looking to see if there's anything I can grab without too much additional effort. We know Little Cactus isn't until we get at least more party members. We could go on the roof to get those items. I guess I should. Because again, that saves us potentially an early trip. Can I really not make this jump? Apparently not. Oh, I saved it and then the roll went too far. That's so unfair. I just wanted this item. Honestly, magic rope has not really been that useful in our playthrough. Keep your head down and you won't get hurt. I'm assuming I'm supposed to use it in like the mines, but honestly, this is probably my least used item in the previous playthrough. I guess I could force myself to use it. Hmm, there should be a shiny up here. There should be like a chest right here if I remember correctly. Oh no, it's just an item. I mean, I'm not gonna say no to more candies. Uh, don't think there's anything in the armor store I want. So the way to progress the plot, if chat remembers, is we have to learn that the beastmen are weakest at night for some reason, and they forget how to do guard duty. Oh, there's Hawkeye. Hey, it might not be my place to meddle, but you should stay inside when beastmen are around. Leave once it's dark instead. They pay less attention to little things like guard duty at night. I'm free until then, if you're looking for some company. Or not. Don't worry, I was joking. <laughs> See? Yeah, you would think they would actually be stronger at night and basically unkillable then. But apparently not in this universe for some reason. Pardon me. My younger brother is missing, and I must find him as soon as possible. Have you perchance seen what if I say yes? boy around? Really? Where? Where did you see him? I'm going to say over there. Oh, you lied to me. How terrible. But I suppose this was an attempt to cheer me up in your own way. So I thank you. No, I was just trolling you. Trust me, you don't want to find Elliot. <laughs> right, chat? He's nothing but a disappointment. Hold on, I gotta tell- I have to talk to this person to tell me to go to sleep. These men of Ferolia look like humans during the day, but at night, they transform into animals. Don't leave the house after dark. You hear? Hey, if you're trying to leave the city, night is actually best. Once the beastmen transform, they lose their better judgment. The whole lot of them tend to get together and brawl amongst themselves until dawn. It's easier to sneak out of the city then. Good luck. If it's easier to sneak around at night, I'll just go to the inn and rest until then. I am not about to risk my complexion by staying up all night. 
Oh my gosh, this character. I'm not going to risk my complexion. Wow, chat. Talk about a character I could not identify any less with. She is definitely a choice. <laughs> what what a likable character, as chat says. Well, lots of wares to browse. I should probably get a few candies. Do come again. Walnut only matters when I get a spell, so I'm not gonna buy it early. Okay, so we have at least nine healing items. Oh, there's Kevin. <laughs> Scared me. Shh, shh. Don't tell them I'm here, okay? Can't be found out. I am one of them, but not with them. Can't let them see me. Don't tell. Please. So we found some of our party members early. <laughs> Just that squeak every time I jump is horrible. I'm tempted to mute voices chat. <laughs> like uh, the temptation is real strong. Holy, this is so annoying. I got medicinal herbs. That's not bad. We need at least a few of those for later. Because if we get poisoned, it's basically over for us. Got some kind of oil. What was that? Boost chance of critical hit? I don't think we got that at all in our previous playthrough. That would have been useful earlier. So he's gonna let us rest here for free because the beastmen are driving away his business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would have been useful. I think chat would agree in the other playthrough when I was playing all melee. There's a the chest I can get. So we have a couple of super heals. I have enough heals for a boss fight with nine candies. The question is more, how many items do I think my allies are gonna burn? Do you know what I mean? Eek, chat. Can I skip this? I, I know about this area. We've been here so many times. Okay, let's check over here, see if there's any other items we could pick up early. Start to serve doesn't really matter for us. We don't care about day-night cycle at all. So far, the enemies being at nighttime versus daytime has not been relevant to me at all. The most I can think of is it's more likely to draw out zombies in certain areas, but like honestly, I don't care. Like if that's the only change most of the time, it just doesn't matter to me. So I hope chat is appreciating the hard mode. I'm literally playing the non-melee character with no spells into all the combat of the game. There we go. So no, no more easy mode with Kevin. Although arguably it will still be easy once I get a melee character at all. There we go. So far, okay. Trying to keep the combat as smooth as possible. 
I do want to get gold early because I want to get a weapon upgrade. That is a broken hitbox. Why did it hit that creature from where I was? That made no sense to me. Like, that actually was, like, complete madness. Um... I guess I could start leveling towards Spirit, because I need Holy Bolt as soon as possible. That way I actually get a spell before, like, the fifth point of the game. Because I think it goes... What is it? Uh, Light, Earth, Frost, Shade? I think of the first four orders. I don't get the I don't get light beam for a while potentially. So that could be a downside to going the light path early. But on the flip side, I imagine no most almost nothing has resistance to light based off of what we saw while playing earlier. So they probably just die to it instantly. Ooh, see I'm not able to kill these anymore instantly. Oh, I got hit. Unfortunate. Oof. It takes 10 more combats to level. That's brutal. Uh, do I want to go here early? I guess I do. Look at the game is prompting me how to do aerial attacks. I'm like, I'm good game. Don't worry about me. Another candy will be useful for later. We'll take the damage here, because I could get the healing statue. You can see like I'm no longer killing in like six hits, which is not great. But it's fine. Take the healing on the way back. Another chocolate for later. There we go. I think Chat can agree the combat is going a lot smoother now that I've gotten used to the game. Leaves, but I saw it. A strange light was floating over the lake. Maybe it'll appear tonight too. No one believes, but I saw it. A strange light was floating over the lake. Maybe it'll appear tonight too. He sounds like a Berseria voice actor. He kind of reminds me of the, uh, what's it called? The blonde hair captain kid that had the bird in his hair. Reminds me a little bit of him, I think is the character I'm thinking of. Oh, well. Not super relevant either way. It's kind of hard to tell with only two lines, so I could be wrong. Oh, I thought I stunned you. That's unfortunate. Bonk. I think she has a class strike that's more broken than Kevin's. I can't believe I'm gonna say that about a mage character. But that range is there's there's something not right with it, Chad. I just there's there's something about its lingering hitbox and the range that is just it's very broken. Something's not quite right with it. Like I did a swing here, and it was like by the time her weapon retreats there, it was still doing damage because the enemy walked into it there. It was interesting.
Oh, I got hit right at the end. Almost a flawless victory. Close. Not that it would really matter. It would only give you like 2 XP. Since early rewards kind of blow. Um... Are you witnessing this? Like, I feel like she's hitting way further than the graphic is. It's like actually taking me by surprise, like how far that's hitting. So we'll try to walk into this, which we know we can't do, because there's an invisible force blocking the way. Someone put up a barrier. I never learned how to dispel this. Okay. I need to find someone who can break the spell. Chad is agreeing her hitboxes look a little suspect. What, why don't we take a mo- I don't usually like to go out and level, like, I was ready to move on with the plot, but how far away can I hit with this? Okay, that's- What? <laughs> how is that connecting? Will this hit from here? Almost. Hmm. How far do I can I hit the flying enemy is the question. Oh, I can't hit him from there. What if I do this? I'm just curious about the range of the attack. Okay, that's pretty generous. That's also pretty generous. It hits almost like a half a half a staff length away. I'm trying to give a good visual indicator. So yeah, I think if I have that much generosity with my range, maybe I can actually play like a long range fighter with her. <laughs> I I didn't realize she had the same range as uh, Reese, but here we are, chat. Oh, it's like a fraction too far away. I felt I wasn't close enough when I did that. Man, power attack is just something else. What an ability chat. I'm gonna get out of my face. See, combat is like almost enjoyable there because like I'm actually kiting them like I did the SNES version. Like SNES combat wasn't great because of the fact that it was just hit once and then retreat. But I like that I can choose a little more in this game. It's just that by the time you get the first class upgrade, any kind of depth of which combo to use, I feel like it's completely ignored because of how overpowered class combos are. But maybe if you play characters that are just super bad at melee, it'll still be relevant. Phantasmal Light will bring destruction of the town, says the monument. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Are you telling me the town of Gonna Bite It will be destroyed? Mages are typically a ranged class. Oh, it, oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Infinite falling. Yeah. Yeah, vibrate on that rock. Look, she's trying to fly. <laughs> Flap your wings, Angela. You could be free. <laughs> there we go. I got unstuck. <laughs> Hopefully you're doing well, Dango. voices uh i think we missed a few chests but i don't think it super matters let's talk to you to advance the plot i'm gonna ignore it because you're basically gonna be like i'm stuck here if you figure out a way to get through there maybe maybe we'll figure out something if we go to sleep that was my summarization of what he says which we we already know from the previous playthrough the fairy will come in he can indeed had a pretty bad day today i'm sorry dango Hopefully her eek will cheer you up. Uh... We need to explore this area before we leave, because we know we're going to get this place completely hosed. Perfect mayhem! Welcome back, Seat Gaming crew and friends. Hopefully you are doing well today. What game did you play today? Is it the Final Fantasy remake? 
It's my birthday day and literally everyone forgot. Well, happy belated birthday, Dango. Sorry your birthday did not go the way you wanted it to go, though. But welcome, Raiders. You get to hear the many eeks of this character. So we already beat the game, but we're playing through with a different story. To see if we feel any differently on a higher difficulty about the game. So we are super, super early in her story. We literally just escaped the Snowy Kingdom. And we are preparing to go to the first real boss of the game. And in the meantime, I'm just collecting items because we will need them. I don't need the money. I actually want the candies. So every time you see something that's just money and not candy, that makes me feel sad because that's what I want. What's our money looking at? 480? That's not bad. I think I can afford an upgrade here, which I will gladly do at this point. Happy Eek birthday. There we go. Well, lots of wares to browse. Oh, good choice. I'll make use of this. <laughs> she is quite a character. I could sell that oil for quite a lot of money. That's actually kind of tempting, to be honest with you. Um. Come again. So it's not a big upgrade, but I think the fact that we are doing more damage is important because. Wait, hold on. Did I just sell the item that I bought? Or are they just called staff? Let's call it staff. Sorry, the items are so basic, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know about the item ring. Yada, yada. Uh, let's see. I don't think I need anything here. Do I need anything to do here? I need to unlock Holy Bolt eventually. We need to level another time. See, so yeah, I think as soon as we get Holy Bolt, we'll be fine. It is very strange, though, playing a mage character with zero spells. So we are in definitely quote-unquote hard mode of the game, since I'm t attempting to win in melee with a character with only int, basically, until we could get our first spell. And that requires us to do a kind of, not difficult battle, but kind of a long battle without it. So I just want to make sure I have enough healing to do this boss battle. More for the allies than myself. So we actually have four revives this early. That's pretty good. Notice we can't buy chocolates yet, so I'm glad we picked up some earlier. Just get level one fully. Yeah, you're right. So we have to talk to her because she has to tell us to basically go to... I don't know why we have to talk to all these people just to be told to go to the sleep. Like, we've already had the first person we talked to go, maybe you should sleep on it, and the answer will come to you. Literally, because it'll come from the sky. But it's more like, once you play the game, it's like, do you really need to go through the hints again? Do you? Did I forget anything before we go further? We also need to make sure to grab everything, since uh, this town is not going to be around for very long. So the armor store guy is sleeping, but joke's on him. We don't care about armor in our playthrough. We'll see, we'll see if I ever get punished for not upgrading armor in hard mode. We beat normal mode without really upgrading. We just kind of took accessories as they came, and that was good enough. I'm hoping to get chocolates out of this. Couple wishes is actually really good. So we got a whole bunch of items, but none of them are super relevant for a run. We did get an increase in money, which is interesting. Five revives is kind of nice. Six cures for getting rid of poisons, huge. I would have liked to have had nine chocolates, since that's how much we could bring into combat. Reflects magic damage away from ally ones. I'm actually going to equip the flame coin. Because we basically have no other use of the item other than using it as early as possible. Welcome. Let's rest until the evening. And advance the plot a little bit. Where we're going to find our new companion.
Well, Dango, if you're around tomorrow, we what? could do some PSO. So that if there's anything you want for birthday PSO, let yeah, us know. Magical. Maybe if I follow it, I'll find the mage who cast it. I believe it is rare enemy week, if I recall correctly. We'll probably try some of the RBRs on stream. I tried one of them, it's not bad, but it requires a little bit of uh, memorization. And if you don't have it, it's not too bad as long as the pa uh, party uses telepipes. I think it's kind of an interesting thing to show off how we can slowly optimize things until we get used to it. But we'll talk about that more on Wednesday because uh, they did finally buff the RBR to make Easter egg hunts more worthwhile there. So it kind of incentivizes you to do RBR this year over the other options. Let's get another point in spirit here to unlock Holy Bolt that I can't use yet. So we have a coin that does as much as our spell does, so we'll save that for the boss, I think. Don't mind me, just rushing to where the Ball of Light will be. I did actually beat it here, which is hilarious. I guess I'll let the cutscene play out. It's very tempting to skip some of them. I might skip some of the ones where we're like just entering an area for the first time. <laughs> because it's not like it really does anything. But these will let play out, I guess. Are you hurt? Angela, a magician from Altena. I saw the light from Astoria's Inn. I see. Oh, I have no other option. So I suppose you'll do. Hold on. Uh, what? Oh, never mind. I'll tell you later. Please, I need you to take me to the Priest of Light and Wendell. I can't fly any further on my own. That is where I'm headed, so I don't mind taking you with me. But there's a barrier around the cavern. I think we're stuck here for now. I can get us through the barrier. But we need to hurry. Something has happened to the Sanctuary of Mana. The Sanctuary of Mana? Wait. Oh no, not the town of Die soon. That came from Astoria. Uh, what happened? I, I need to go back. Oh, we need to get going. Let me rest inside you for a bit. You won't see me, but don't worry, I'm still here. Whoa, wait, what? Don't delay. We must see to Astoria. Her voice is in my head? Hurry! Fine! You take Fairy with you. So, why are you heading to Wendell? I don't know what to do anymore. I'm looking for answers. Oh, I see you haven't had an easy time yourself. Story is Historia, pretty much. Bonk. We're getting there. So yeah, our base level ups are not going to increase our strength very much, if at all. Medicinal herb is actually huge. We want to get those. 
basically we're only getting about six to ten money drop per fight that by itself i think is worth like 25 and we need at least nine of those for later what happened where is everyone this looks like the work of beastmen how terrible there is no time to waste we have to get to the priest of light as soon as possible <sighs> Wendell is in danger. Let's proceed here. Fairy should open the way. Oh, Durin's here. Nice. I was on my way to Wendell, but there's something blocking off Cascade Cavern. Oh, well, actually. Huh? You've got a fairy that can help? Oh, that's what the light over the forest was. <laughs> Sounds like things are getting interesting around here. So, uh, what's your business in Wendell? Oh, I see. Sounds like you had a rough. Me? Oh, I'm Durant, a soldier from Volsena. Uh, I guess we could play through his past. together commence the final match for the sword mastery tournament youth division combatants forward <laughs> i'll break you like a dry noodle give it a try i dare you I took you down a peg, bruiser. Whoa, what is this range? Look at that range. What? Uh, okay. That is. I didn't. Almost done. I can do this. Okay. <laughs> Come far in your training, lad. Duran, soldier from Balsena, Kingdom of the Plains. His father Loki, the Golden Knight and friend to the hero king Richard, went missing when the young soldier was but a child. His mother succumbed to sickness and grief, leaving him and his younger sister Wendy to their aunt Stella. Like his father before him, the boy could not deny the pull of the blade. From a young age, he outshone all other swordsmen, and eventually came to be in service to the king himself. Yeah, especially after playing Kevin, I was like, geez, the range is ludicrous. Hang in there. The next shift is on its way. Hmm. I'll do one more round in the meantime. Why did they do that as a voice effect for the people in armor? That is so distracting. Bad choice, chat. Also, I love his sword just straight up clips through his head and body. <laughs> Oh, we seeing his family for the first time. We Where are you going? We never saw that in the SNES. To slay some dragons. The 
fearsome beast known as the Dragon Lord is the strongest of its kind. <laughs> but don't worry. His Highness and I won't lose. Now, take care of your mother and sister while I'm gone. Understood, son? Several months later. Madam, your husband, Loki. He took a blow meant for me, causing both him and the Dragon Lord to fall into the depths of an abyss. My men and I searched the area for a week, but to no avail. We could not find Loki. I see. He fulfilled his duties as the Golden Knight. Until the very end. I'm sure that's what he would have wanted. <sighs> Simone, my lady. Oh, Stella. How could you let your illness go untreated for so long, Simone? If Loki knew I was ill, he would have neglected his duties for my sake. I just couldn't hold him back like that. <sighs> you're, you're both such fools. Stella, my children. Do not fret, Simone. I will take care of them as if they were my own. You have my thanks. Simone? I think she was supposed to cry there. I was trying to decide. <clears throat> Shouldn't be sleeping on the job. What? Without his family around, Chad, he can no longer have his hair cut. That's that's what we learned. Oh, don't give in. What happened here? Oh, there's the Crimson Wizard. What's that? It doesn't matter if we pick up items as a reminder, which I feel like it was a mistake. They should have let us take items from this into the other mode. But we'll play this for the story. If we were ever to replay it again, Who are you? it's best just to skip these. <laughs> you are sharper than you look. <laughs> What's so funny? The fact that you are considered the best fighter in this miserable castle i think it's time i show you how powerless you really are no more talking <laughs> what senile old fool would entrust the security of the castle to a child that's a good point crimson wizard apologies you work for the king do you not what don't you dare insult his majesty Bonk. See, the AI took control chat, couldn't block. That, that's canon. <laughs> they don't have to dodge. The finishing blow. Someone infiltrated the castle. Find them. Why? Why use that I've voice filter? Another day. No matter. If all the king can boast is soldiers of your caliber, we can take this kingdom anytime we choose. Oh no, chat, we have been shamed. Last night, an unknown wizard managed to penetrate our defenses. The soldiers on duty were no match for him. Duran was the only survivor. Chat, witnesses say the man was wearing a red cloak. 
It has to be that Altanish cur, the Crimson Wizard. You mean Altanus and a spy? No honor among the lot of them. We should mount a full-scale attack on their forces before they sneak in again. Who's with me? Right! Hold! There is no definitive proof that Altana sent the intruder. Nor would they have reason to attack our kingdom in the first place. We cannot act rashly. Whoever attacked last night got past our defenses and some of our best soldiers. If we act hastily, we could fall into our enemy's trap. First, we must strengthen the castle's defenses and increase the guard. Then we shall send our own spies into Altanish territory. Yes, sir. But why would the true queen of Altena attack Valsena of all places? Yeah, we should have died for sure. If he had enough time to monologue, he could have just fireballed. Curses. Curse it all. Hey! Your wounds haven't healed yet. You should be in bed, silly. Red. Red, whatever, just. I. Just let him. If only they just went to the gold statue Are you to heal. To me? Stop whining and listen! I hate you! There we go, that progressed suddenly. Wendy! Wait. Again, it kind of wants me to explore, but I don't really have an incentive to talk to most of these people. Most of the time, they just have, like, one line. I don't really get too much out of them, sadly. Whining, huh? A walk around town might clear my head some. No point to collecting the items because we don't keep them. We'll talk to you. I'm going to see if Castlevania itself was assaulted. I should ask the fortune teller. Is this another character that gets told to go to Wendell due to a fortune teller? Okay, so we now learn the name of the mage is the Crimson Wizard, which we already know because we played Angela first. Are we really going to a fortune teller? That's so lame. Right, chat? We can't just make this decision on our own. Why do we all just keep consulting the fortune tellers in this game? Most of them are pretty whack anyway. Yeah, how long do you think before they say Wendell? Welcome, young man. This shop is for reading fortunes. Your pinched face tells me you have a lot on your mind, son. My what? <laughs> he doesn't have a mind. 99% destiny. But the rest of your future is always shaped by your will. It is up to you to decide. We call that final 1% hope. Come now. <laughs> Anyone can see you bear a great burden. Let this old bird set you on the right path. Fortunes? Why would I trust my fate to something like that? All I believe in is strength. But I'll listen to what you have to say if you tell me how to become more powerful. Manners, you oaf! No need for rudeness. <laughs> to become more powerful, you must head to Holy City Wendell. The Priest of Light can teach you how to switch your class. My class? Son, you listen and you listen good. Even a clueless fighter like yourself can eventually change to a better class. 
now get out of my shop. Damn. It's true. Everybody tells us to go to Wendell. Switching classes, huh? It means I can defeat that crimson jerk. To do anything. Well, better head to Wendell. See what all this fuss is about. Yeah, that crimson jerk. Yeah, let's go to our house that we couldn't visit at all in the SNES version. That lousy, conniving, murderous crimson wizard is dead meat. I won't let him get away. Not again. I won't come back until he's finished. I won't. Yeah, since we didn't make Duran the protagonist in the SNES version, we he just simply refused to enter the house, and I feel like we learned literally nothing about this character, despite playing as him in the previous game. Sorry, Wendy. I'm Stella. I really am. Wait! Blade is huge. Here. I know you already have a bronze sword, but take this instead. Is this? This is the sword your father used when he was a young man. Back in the day, he even won a tournament with it against the young king himself. Oh. Now be off. I'll explain the situation to Wendy, don't worry. Be sure to stop by the castle to see the king before you leave. He's waiting to hear from you. How does he know? Don't be silly. He knew your father. Of course, the son of Loki would want to travel the world. I too knew this day would come. I've raised you as if you were my own son, after all. Thanks, Hunstella. I'll be back. I promise. <laughs> it's a completely useless sword. I'm actually sending you to your death. Honestly, did I just hand you a sword without a sheath? That seems like we really don't take care of our blades. Also, do any of us blink? I'm not really entirely sure about that either. Those are my thoughts as we went through that conversation. Oh no, it's clipping through our hair again. Rip our hair. I see you're planning a journey, Dura. Your Majesty! Forgive me. It was my weakness that allowed the enemy to escape so easily. I wish to atone for my mistakes. I cannot forgive the wizard for what he did. For the first time in my life, I was utterly powerless. He not only defeated me, he insulted you, my king. He must pay for this. I do not plan to return home until he has answered for these crimes. I cannot. Acknowledged. You have my blessing on your journey. Thank you, your majesty. Oh, okay, there's the blink. I feel like they went a long time in the other cutscene without blinking. His resolve is truly admirable. I had feared that perhaps he was raised too proud, but I see that he is just like his father at that age. We need no sheath, the hair is our sheath. Now if we used our hair to wield the sword, that would have been awesome. And maybe we do go like a three sword combo. There we go. I knew eventually it would acknowledge that I hit the right button instead of tumbling. So interesting when we go to the moors. Uh, 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 
I don't think our level matters matters at all because he's already level four. So I'm gonna try to avoid combat. We'll pick up these chests later when we come through with the real character. So for now, I'm just beelining to the plant. Hmm. I was hoping his range would be a bit more broken. It's still good, just not ultra broken. So I guess we're now going through... Oh, that's awkward. We're going to go through the bridge before it gets destroyed, which is kind of funny. Rip this bridge, by the way. We're probably just going to pass over it in cutscene. Yeah, we're in the stone split gap. There's the bridge that we're about to walk over. So we know eventually Altina will come through here. But right now it seems like nothing's happening. Don't mind me, just jumping off of stuff that I shouldn't jump off of. Look at that chat, an intact bridge. Just you wait, Crimson Wizard. I ain't gonna stop until I'm more than powerful enough to take you down. You won't get away with this. I will defeat you. And then in the distance you hear, No, you won't. You suck. by the Crimson Wizard, nearly lost confidence in his skills. He set out for Holy City Wendell to gain the strength to overcome his failings. I mean, I'm probably going to build him more like a tank to hope that the AI doesn't die with him. So I'm probably going to be focusing stamina first, if I had to guess. Baron finished recounting the harrowing story of how they to be on his journey. Wow, that sounds terrible. Um, this wizard of yours wouldn't happen to be the Crimson Wizard, would he? Wait, you know him? Duh. <laughs> I mean, he's part of the Altanish court, and I'm the heir to the throne. But don't get me wrong, I don't have anything to do with him. He's the jerk who drove me out of the kingdom, after all. Oh! Sorry. I didn't realize. Then, what's up with that wizard anyway? I mean, who is he? <laughs> Very awkward. It's complicated. Years back, he couldn't use magic either, like me. Our teacher, Jose, was at his wit's end. But then suddenly, he was able to wield incredible power. Let's go fight Crimson now Jerk! The Crimson Wizard acts as the Queen's chief advisor. And to top it off, he doesn't even call me by my royal title. Can you believe that? Ooh, it makes me so mad. An incredibly powerful wizard, huh? Well, I'm gonna be the best swordsman in Balsena. He won't stand a chance. I mean, if he was a good wizard, the swordsman would stand no chance. Magic OP chat. Oh, in any case, I'm on my way to Wendell too, so I guess that makes us travel companions, huh? I like how they cut away from our unique dialogue to the scene. That time I did slightly cut the, the music. Counter, break armor. Normal text better breaking armor at 50%. That's actually maybe not a bad one to get. Lucky break, provoke. Okay, so he does a provoke. I don't think I care about int on him. I guess I just pump up strength, luck, stamina? I think I actually want him to be in strength at first. I think break armor is actually worth getting as his counter. I think both of those are very strong abilities to put on him right now. 
potentially getting a 10% extra attack after he takes damage, which is, you know, going to be all the time. That's free damage. And him being able to break armor, aka the thing that's very annoying at the end of the game earlier, is kind of nice. Look, <laughs> we just walked into so it again. Patient. Give me a moment. I'll get rid of the barrier. We'll go back to making him more of a tank in a moment after that. There. You should be fine now. Because I think once we do that, at least, he'll be able to go through there. I'll, I'll teach him Provoke next, across the next couple levels. I just think it would be more useful if he did damage, because I can dodge if they focus me. But once I actually get spells, I'd probably want Provoke. So sometime in the next four levels, I need to get it, which is not a rush. Meanwhile, I get to enjoy the benefit of him doing potentially between five and eight more damage a swing. Which is pretty early, pretty good in, at this early stage. To travel this far by yourself. I'm a soldier from Voltsena myself. Don't want to brag, but I'm pretty good with sword. Uh, the monsters around here aren't so tough. That's encouraging. Let's head to Wendell. So I can take a break and leave the fighting to you, right? My properly in this cramped cavern. So yeah, he definitely feels pretty strong. Make sure I grab as many candies as I need for later, because we need them not for the boss fight here, but we need them for what's it called? The ninja fight later. Because I remember last time they burned like literally 20 something healing items, which was kind of intense. So all this money will go towards chocolates and heals. We didn't get to see what his class strike ability was, sadly. remember what I set their strategies to on the attack I probably want her to be at almost that level don't use healing items keep CS mostly filled that's probably fine I don't have time for this. oh I, I charge attacked instead of doing the quick hit combo that was my mistake I had to do that Another chocolate, that's actually good. I, don't have time for this. I hit that other monster backwards. So that both of them got connected by that, even though I wasn't facing him. Come on. That was something. I don't have time for this. Ouch. Goodbye, random enemies. So I think I'm doing an okay job of fighting most encounters. Oh, his is like a focus attack. I kind of like Angela's better where she doesn't move forward at all. I, I tend to not like the ones that move you forward, even though in theory they would be useful. Another couple wishes, that's actually really good. I prefer to have at least nine of those for later. Ideally, I won't use them for a while, but they are kind of expensive. So picking up extras of that is kind of nice. So, so far, going smoothly through here. We've gotten a ton of items.
Oh, we chat. Sure, I guess we'll experience her story. Time to learn about heat. got baited again her parents just ghosted her chat I was afraid I'd hurt you. <laughs> Looks like you're okay, though. Bye! She's like, sure would be a shame if I became a monster. I'm sure nothing terrible will happen to Heath. Everything will be fine, Chad. It'll be a short game. Go your write your credits. May I have a word about Charlotte? Oh, Heath. Manners blessings be with you. How is my granddaughter? She isn't as chipper as usual. She seems young thanks to her elfin heritage, but she is 15. She may have sensed the shift in mana power. I see. Look here, Heath. The mana statue has begun to cry. And you saw the light above the lake last night. Yes, sir. It was bright as day in the middle of the night. Do you know the source? I do not. But I believe it has to do with a change in the mana power of the world. The light seemed to land in Astoria across the lake. Would you be willing to look into it, Heath? Of course, your eminence. I believe there is trouble in Jad as well. We should erect a barrier in Cascade Cavern to protect Wendell from any interlopers with bad intent. It would be the safest plan. Not a white chat. Let's get out of here. See, her range is more like Kevin's. Wait, what was that? 
Does she belly flop? What is this? That is certainly an attack. Ooh, that charge attack is not good. Oh, she's got the butt slam. Everybody's got a hip attack. Belly flop or face plant? Why not both? You're not supposed to leave the temple today. Let me go! I gotta save Heath! It is Princess Peach. Let's go a different way. Like how she jumps, her legs go to the sides. That's so awkward. She does like a little Mario stomp. She's definitely a Mario Brother character. Oh, hi, Charlotte. Mick, I know you aren't some dumb little kid anymore. Come on, help me get to Astoria. What? Do you want to go to Astoria? But there are monsters in Cascade Cavern and all around the lake. Plus, you don't know magic like the grown-ups. Hey. Listen up, Tiny. I may be as small as you are, but I happen to be 15 years old, so I'm basically an adult. My body is just aging slower than most people's do. That's all. Got it? Now tell me how to get to Astoria, or else. Okay, fine! Meet me outside, on the second floor balcony, tonight. I know a secret that might help. Not I don't need to do. Let's take a nap. I don't even think that he's that much. Yeah, both of them are about the same size. I think she seems smaller. Truly, the actions of a fifteen-year-old, pretty much. It looks so massive compared to us. What is that? Oh, good. It's nighttime. I want to see how big we are compared to this bed again. Look, look how big this bed is. <laughs> like, are there giants that sleep here? What the heck is this? Look at this chat. Like, let me jump on the bed for size comparison. She doesn't even go like halfway down the bed. Holy. And he's definitely taller than us. Hey, Charlotte, over here. Now stand back. It was hard for me to sneak this away without anyone noticing what I was doing. This is a spring stepper. It lets you jump really far. Just don't ask where I took it from, okay? Okay, great. So, how exactly is this supposed to help me? You can jump to Astoria with this without the grown-ups knowing. But you gotta go now. Someone could come by at any second. And then we die. I think my aim was off. Uh, not my fault. Spring Sepper, the real MVP, trying to kill one of the party members. Oh. That never happened when we played as Kevin. What? A little girl. Uh huh. Now what? Now what indeed. So I guess that's how they would have met up had they been in the same party. Yeah, she was like we found her I think near the falls and then later when she tried to escape Wendell. But I, I don't remember that cutscene. Oh, 
Uh, you're up. Uh, this is Astoria. You okay? Yeah, we definitely did not go back to Astoria with her. I'm sorry. This is Nick's fault. He's toast when I get back. Uh, I'll go. You stay. It's night, so sleep, okay? on a nice person last night. But I've wasted enough time. Gotta find heat. I mean, just look how small she is compared to the beds. Hold on. Hold on. The bed is taller than her. Think about that, chat. That's... <laughs> she need, almost needs, like, a stepladder to get up there. She has to jump her whole height to get into bed. <laughs> what the heck is this? It's true, she can jump like three times her height at least. Fortunately for her. Well, I guess we try to find Heath. We know something will happen to him at some point. We just gotta reach him. See, so I think we'll get up to at least the first boss and then we'll take a break there. Yeah, we don't need the intro to Rabbi Forest. We've seen it before. Skipping the combat tutorial. Ooh, her combat is really awkward. It's definitely more of a nunchuck than a flail. It was definitely just a flail in the SNES version. We'll just try to advance the plot as quickly as possible. Miss, do you need help? You're looking for someone. I do remember seeing a priestly young man heading in the direction of Jad. Okay, so let's go back to Jad. Nice smooth journey. Take that hard mode. Right, Chan? Hey! What do you think you're doing? I could ask the same of you. What business could Ferolian guards possibly have in this place? This human's a priest from Wendell. We can't let him go now that he's seen us. It could jeopardize our beast man invasion. Invasion? Impossible! Heath! Uh, what's with this kid? What's with you? Ow! 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 Let me go, you big old... Shirley! Leave the child alone! Don't worry, Charlotte. I took care of him. What are you doing here? Oh, oh, Heath. I just... You left, and... Shh! Something is coming. <laughs> wow! 
Wow! Didn't realize that holy bolt would work so well. I suppose it is a powerful spell after all. Ooh, looks like I hooked a whopper. Was that holy bolt? It looked like dark force. Oh, oh no! What did you do to heat? Huh? <gasps> there is the slab. See, she should have been on Team Kevin. <laughs> Silly child, run if you know what's good for you. <laughs> She's initiated, finally. No! Keith! He is gone! was whisked away by the mysterious man as the Beastmen began to attack the city of Jad. Alone and frightened, Charlotte heard a noise nearby. <laughs> so many slaps. Charlotte finished recounting the harrowing story of how they came to be on this journey. She said light like white. I was just thinking that their father's like Phoenix White. <laughs> He's just gonna shout objection and everything, Chad. It's terrible. Let's see what she's got on her. I don't think I want any of these. 15% chance of retaining 1 HP instead of fainting? Kind of tempting. Sadly, we don't get healing light until we fight our first boss. Again, the game is really awkward and the way it's structured where it's like, you think we would get one of these and it would be useful. I do want healing light, but I think I'd rather have persist for now. Healing move on an ally recovers 10% more HP in battle. That one's okay. Recovers 20% more HP when healing an ally with 30% or below. So lots of healing buffs. I don't know if I care about them yet. I may actually just go with luck for now. And ideally, I'll get my... I'll get two levels by the time I get the ability to do anything else there. So, presumably, she'll be able to target the one that Durin is targeting. Come along, Wakloots! Follow me! Excuse me, I don't remember signing up for anything. Careful! Ha! It's the enemy! Ha! Oh, good. 
There we go. We got a murder squad for me. Nice. I'm hoping the two of them can kill a single bat. Looks like they did. Let's go check out the side paths real quick. When your magic users do magic, no. I mean, I'm pretty sure the original game was like that too, but it's still really awkward they don't have at least one ability non-elemental related. I did not stun him in time. That was unfortunate. Another cup of wishes. That's actually huge. So now I think I have seven? Yeah, seven cups of wishes. So that's a lot of revives. So I've, I have two potential party members that can ignore death. So that's kind of neat for hard mode. I mean, I, I wish our allies ignored death when I played earlier. I wish they did anything to dodge. But hey, I guess if they're not going to dodge, as long as they don't die, I guess it doesn't matter. Objection indeed. Oh yeah, I forgot we just go through the city the first time we're here. That's fine, we'll, we'll continue. We'll at least go up to the first boss and stop. Wonder if this is the stepper that the kid took earlier. Another revive, that's actually really huge. I know our allies are gonna burn at least like 15 of those, so we're like halfway there to what we need. Thank you so much for taking me here. Hurry, we need to request an audience with his eminence. Why the long face? Come stay a while. Saying war is breaking out, which we already know about. Eek chat. Anything fun in here? Oh wait, you're the armor dealer? Never mind, there's nothing fun in here. Here to see the Priest of Light, Tumbles Beyond the Square. Must come for his wisdom. No, I really don't care about him. Let's go get that treasure chest that was there. Any money's pretty huge. How did I activate the door over talking to that guy? What? Wasn't I like this? How did I touch the door from there? That was actually insane. My equipment and weapons, if only the world had no need of such dangerous tools. Eek. I, I suctioned immediately into that door. It was kind of insane. I was nowhere near it. I must have been just like at the tip of it, yet somehow I didn't trigger the other guy's dialogue. Oh well. Go in the building. Yeah, the beds are still really large, even for these people. Fortunately, they're all occupied, so I can't show Kasich properly. But even for, like, adults, it's twice as long as they are. It's a pretty intense bed. Hello, chest. I don't know if I found you in my original playthrough earlier. Anyway, we're getting more cure effects, which isn't bad. We need some of those, but I don't think they're that important. Eek. I got a defensive accessory, potentially. That could be useful. As I said before, I'll equip them if I find them. Cancels out burning attacks. Yeah, let's stand on the bed real quick. It looks like we would fill up maybe to here? We'd like lay our character flat. So that's a pretty, pretty big for a single bed. I still think it's, a, it's meant for giants. I like to think we just murdered the original inhabitants and pretending that this is just normal for us. 
definitely want that chest. Another chocolate. Ooh, uh, am I at eight now or nine? Eight, okay. It's doing pretty well there. Again, we need probably like 15 of those. They should start showing up in shops pretty soon. I definitely want to upgrade my weapons if I'm able to. Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Oh, good choice. This is good quality. Oh, we're back to wood flail, allegedly. See, like, that's what it looked like in the game, but it clearly was a nunchuck when we were using it earlier. Like the SNES version, that is. Well, remember how our aunt gave us the bronze sword? Well, we're selling it immediately. Tell father to keep better relics. <laughs> Come again. Bye, father's heirloom that we barely used. Stats can affect moves. Okay, so that was confirmation that projectiles and traps are based off of luck damage. Or luck stat. Hmm? I think I'll wait out here. I left without telling Grandpa. He's probably really mad at me. Charlotte left the party. Well, we already upgraded our attack power, so I'm not feeling too bad. We know there's a chest... Not here. There's one in the back gardens. There might be a gold thing here. Yeah, I remember the gold thing. So I'm going to go up and around. And if we come back down, the chest should be there. The hour oh. is late. Please. Please, there's no time. The beastmen have already invaded Jad and Astoria. And they're on their way here as we speak. And Fairy needs... What? Oh, no. You must report to his eminence at once. No, no, I just wanted to... No, no, I don't want to go in yet. I was going to say, I remember their chest was here. Another revive? Nice. I'm actually up to nine revives. That's really good. Chad has seen how the AI is in this game. And that's like 250 cash. Think of it that way, Chad. I'm getting 250 cash... Every time we find one of those, so I don't have to do early grinding at all. Because they were, as a reminder, we were only getting between like 6 and 10 from most fights. So that would take a very long time to get that many Cups of Wishes normally. Yeah, there should be a chest here. Another chocolate. So we're 9 healing, 9 candies, 9 chocolates, 9 Cups of Wishes. Twenty-three total candies. That's really good. We have a flame coin to use later. Mostly just looking for items that we couldn't pick up before. I feel like there were a couple up here. Somewhere. There's one. Oh, only six cash. That was not worth it. Even a candy would have been worth more. Hmm. Sadly, not too much else of interest found. Accept the goddess of manners' blessings. So you're the priest of light, hmm? You're plainer than I expected. <laughs> wow. Some wisdom to share. This character is so awful. You're the priest of light, right? Yeah, please cut her off. Tell me how to change my class. I need to be stronger now! Please. Impossible. There is no way you could switch classes right now. 
You lack the experience necessary for such a feat. What? But I... You must have at least heard tell of the Mana Stones, correct? First, you must gain enough experience through battle, then call upon a Mana Stone's power to switch to another class. Who's got time for that? Your Eminence, if I don't get stronger, I can't give that crimson jerk what's coming to him! Wait! I have something to say! Your Eminence, please listen! I have come from the Sanctuary of Mana to tell you that the Mana Tree is withering! Mana power grows weaker by the day! Withering? But without the Mana Tree, the seals on the Mana Stones will break. The Benevidons will be released into the world. Huh? <sighs> what is that? <laughs> You're acting like this doesn't affect you. You've oh, Priest, she's not acting very well. This means that you alone can retrieve the Sword of Mana from the Sanctuary. Uh, what? There's no way. What does this mean, Fairy? I'm sorry. With the mana in the world so depleted, a fairy can't leave the sanctuary for long without a host. If I hadn't found you, I wouldn't have made it. Well, that's good for you, but what about me? I had enough of this hosting business. Go have the old geezer instead. Would that I were able to bear your burden. However, once a fairy finds a host, they are bound to them for their whole life. Only death can part them. What? Sorry, but no way am I getting mixed up in this. I don't need any Sword of Mana. The true Queen of Altana wants the Sword of Mana, doesn't she? This is your chance to get it first, and to prove to her that you are strong in your own right. Hey, stop digging around in my thoughts without permission, fairy. <sighs> I can't believe this. What is this Sword of Mana, anyway? The Sword of Mana is the embodiment of the ancient power of mana. Guiding force of spirits. It is an alternate form of the golden wand used to create the world itself. The one who holds the mana sword gains awesome power. The sword lies in the roots of the mana tree, waiting. Before the mana tree withers completely, you must reclaim the sword and awaken the goddess of mana once more. She alone can bring peace to the realm and grant your wish. My mother wants that sword. If I manage to get it first, she'll finally acknowledge my abilities. Where can I find the Sanctuary of Mana? I am so sorry. But with Mana so depleted, I don't have enough power to open the portal to the Sanctuary. Not by myself. Throughout the world are eight points of Mana energy. Mana stones. Sealing away the fearsome Benevidons. If you activate the Mana stones, the portal connecting our world to the Sanctuary of Mana should appear. Through that portal is the Sanctuary. However, you should know that the energy inside the Eight Mana Stones was sealed on purpose as the Mana Goddess began her slumber. What should I do? In ages past, there once was an ancient spell used to control the energy from the Mana Stones and bend it to the user's will. 
However, countries refuse to allow each other any control of the spell and use of the mana stones. The war that followed caused unspeakable damage. It was nearly as destructive as the sealed Benevidons. The survivors cursed the magic to avoid future tragedy and forbade anyone from using it. Now the life of any person who uses the spell will be forfeit. There is no longer anyone alive who knows how to work this cursed spell. Mm. There may be one way. If we borrow the powers of the elemental spirits that reside near the mana stones instead, I can combine their powers with what remains of mine to open the portal for everyone. Splendid! This is a relief. If you wish to find a mana stone, I've heard many say that the light stone is in Cascade Cavern, guarded by the elemental Lumina. It is the cavern you pass through in order to reach here. Take Fairy. With what remains of her power, she can help you find Lumina in the cavern. See if you may borrow his light powers. Okay. Answer me straight, Fairy. If I go along with you for this journey, will the Mana Goddess grant my wish? Certainly. You can become the world's strongest swordsman. Let's do this. All right. <laughs> then I'm in. But you don't need to wish for that. I was just thinking, Chad, when we were listening to that conversation, I feel like Angela is like the typical D&D &D wizard. She's a character that just looked at her stat sheet and went, Charisma, that's a dumb stat. <laughs> she is so intensely unlikable. <laughs> like, holy. Oh my gosh. Anyway, Priest of Light Faith has granted you a new ability. Base HP increased by 30. I don't really know if it matters who I give it to. I guess I could put it on myself since I don't have anything better to put on at the moment. Like how we didn't bother mentioning we were with Charlotte at all. Okay, so they're telling us to go back to Lumina, take Fairy, blah blah blah. First magic will kill you if you use it. Eek chant. I think I got all I really wanted to get. Don't leave me behind. I need to save Heath. I'm coming with <laughs> I skipped her dialogue. We, we knew what she was gonna say. It's not relevant to the plot. We're gonna move on. We know you're looking for Heath. <laughs> right, chat? We're not gonna wait all day for the AI. Sometimes they take forever to get their lines out. We, we get the general gist. Um, I feel like I'm missing one chest. But it's fine. I'm not sure where it is. So we'll just move on. Again, notice me refusing to buy armor. <laughs> so unless the game drops it, I, I guess that's the rule of thumb. Unless the game drops it, I will not upgrade our armor. If I do get an armor upgrade in a chest, I will put it on. But otherwise, I refuse to use the shop. The only thing I do want are weapon damage upgrades, because I do not want to grind to do damage. Defense, it's like, whatever, our AI's gonna die. It doesn't matter if they take 15 or 10 or 9. They'll find a way. Ooh, I did kill him in time. Bonk. So it seems like we're killing faster. That's good. A couple more fights and I'll level. So I need to get two levels by the time we finish this boss. I'm pretty much guaranteed to get a level off of the boss itself. So that'll put us in range to get Holy Bolt. Meanwhile, we have something that negates spell damage.
Oh, I already have Holy Bolt unlocked. So I guess I could go towards Enigma. I don't know if I really need Wind Magic at all. Honestly, Holy Bolt is probably so good that there's no reason to really use the other elements at all. <laughs> Except to maybe abuse weakness. Wait. Maybe. learning all the lore of the Sword of Mana, though. Who would have thought the Sword of Mana is related to Mana? I did not mean to press that button. Oh well, time to rebuild meter, I guess. You must have taken out all the enemies nearby. This will be faster if we fight together. Okay, so I can kind of infinite combo enemies with the square triangle, square square triangle approach. It's a shame our allies don't know how to do that. I'll do this not because I need healing, but I know our allies are stupid. <laughs> right, chat? Like, I just, I have no faith in them. I love that I have the most HP in the party, though. I do find that hilarious. There we go. We have Tank Angela chant. Don't mind me, just soloing a battle because our allies refuse to attack for some reason. Thanks, game. Really appreciate their assistance. Glad I didn't just have to solo them with the mage because that would be silly. The mage is the only person meleeing in the entire party. Bonk. I feel like I could defeat any enemy. Nice levels. And another point in luck for Enigma, maybe, and then the rest will start going towards in. Okay, that's the path I have to come back to later. I was like, how do I reach that? I'm like, never mind, I don't. Nice, that's what I wanted. Okay, now I'm using a character actually suited for melee. Another chocolate, excellent. Uh, how's his stats looking? Probably want to give him provoke. So I wouldn't provoke pretty soon. That way the two mage characters could do whatever. There we go. So yeah, I think I'm basically geared for... Oh, I took damage back to back there by accident. Oops. I guess I'm geared for the boss. So I should hit level 6 on the boss, since I'm level 5 already. 
I'd like to go up one level with our other partner before we get into the boss battle. So it should be pretty easy. Just like one more combat. Do one of you, maybe. Why is the enemy in the most annoying position possible? Nice triple slice. Took a little bit of damage there, but Charlotte got destroyed. There's the healing statue, so we should be good there. Candy acquired. Another candy acquired. Got a chest. Circlet acquired. Okay, a little bit of gear right before we go in. Angela, actually, I think the tankiest character right now. Oh, almost. Duran is slightly more. So I want to get into one more battle. Kill this thing, because he's a problem. Build a little more meter before the battle. That should level, I think. I think it's worth it. Giving her extra stats is nice. So she's already at persist there, so I need to just unlock healing. So I'm gonna go ahead and level her probably one more time on the boss, and if I don't get it, I'll just get a quick fight for healing light. Healing light, I think, is gonna save me a lot of candy usage. I probably don't want to take this fight, but I might not have a choice here. Oh, that was an excellent double strike there, actually. So our meter's mostly fine. It should be able to get a little bit of it back. It's very likely Angela and Durin will get the guaranteed level. I'm not sure about Charlotte at a thousand. Um, I think I got everything that I need. So we'll go for the boss. So again, we have several medicinal herbs. We have a lot of revives. I just barely got them up to level five. So that gives them like an extra 9 HP or so. More importantly, they probably take one less damage and do one more damage. So hopefully fights won't be too tedious. Might want to play as Durin for this boss, because I don't really have a reason to play the others yet. Although I missed the blue jar. Oops, I should have gone back for the blue jar. Oh well. I'll make up the meter. Again, this enemy is very goofy in the remake. What the? Where, wait, what? 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 What was I targeting there? Hello? Hopefully the AI just negates that damage. Ooh, big damage there. We're just about done here. Time for the finishing blow. Oh no, you died to Charlotte's strike? Oh, that's embarrassing. Chat, that was embarrassing. Oh, that was embarrassing. Oh, you got embarrassed. You lost to melee against Charlotte? That's a shame kill, chat. That's an absolute shame kill. Chat, I didn't even take damage. <laughs> well, I guess with the bonus XP, I'm going to level. Uh, chat, that was convincing. Is that? Convincing. Hey, yo. Looking for Lumina? That'd be me. Nice to meet ya. A pleasure. And thanks for releasing me from the belly of that full metal meanie, am I right? <laughs> full metal meanie? What would have happened if you hadn't come? 
fairy filled me in on your plight while you were fighting. Telepathy is great, huh? Just like fairy, we elementals need mana to live. I'll help however I can to make sure we save the mana of the world. Lumina, where is the light stone? It's straight up from here, deep within the old ruins. But you can't exactly get there from here. Oh, no, 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 no. It's safe, though. For now, at least. It's so unstable. It seems like the Benevidon could be unsealed at any minute. We gotta get the rest of the elementals on board and open the portal to the sanctuary. Hidden powers from Light Elemental Lumina. Huh? Oh, I got the music off by accident. Oops. Look at that. I think we found a shortcut. My bad, chat. I just I just hit confirm. I didn't think it would just stop the music like that. Yeah, yeah. We have holy bolt and healing light. We should at least see what those abilities do. Let's learn Enigma so the game doesn't target me as much. I don't think I need the HP boost more than the other characters do. But for now, I can wear it. Eh, that's probably fine. So we got one spell. You can learn Lucky Break. I'd like to teach him Provoke basically as soon as possible. And then we'll hold on to his points since I'm not sure which will be good. AI, I feel like, does a lot of normal attacks. That's so probably better for me to leave them like that. Extra MP. Oh, did they nerf how much healing light costs? Did I look at that correctly? Back here real quick. Ooh, they did make it five. Ooh. Or if it was like that in the original, that's kind of unfortunate. I remember we basically... I thought it was four in the original, but I guess it could have also been five. Also, I love that I didn't, like, pop any of these blue things at all because it just didn't matter. It's kind of steamrolled the boss real quick. I guess I could at least get to the point that I leave here just to experiment with the characters a little bit. I do want to see how much damage Holy Bolt does. Also, what do I need to get for the other thing? Oh, I need to get four in Spirit. Okay, we, we need to rush Spirit so I could get more. So I need two more levels and then we'll be in a good position because I don't have a lot of MP restore currently. That means like if I fight this thing, for example. I thought it did. Oh, because he's got armor on. Okay. That enemy is so awkward. Oh, the dodge roll actually dodged that at point blank. Maybe it has some iframes. So we have enough for four spell casts, which is Jack in here is really not a lot. So we're gonna need to get some like MP reducers. Obviously getting two MP per enemy kill is pretty huge. Yeah, this is the thing I meant to get earlier. I think it's worth trying to get an easy kill here just for XP. I know what to do. Wow, I can't believe that hit from there. Look how far it was. That was like four steps away. Yeah, I think we want the extra cash because we have to pay for candies. Yeah, that was something. Bonk. And we're getting little teeny bits of XP, which don't matter. It's more the money. But I think we can all agree. we I embarrassed that boss. When you got beat to death by Charlotte. What? Oh, there we go. Now we've been slapped. We're an official party member. Thanks for taking down the cavern barrier. Saved us some trouble. <laughs> now, nothing's stopping us from invading Wendell. This is a present to show our appreciation. No! <laughs> oh, 
Let's get going. So I guess we're seeing her flashback as the fairies go by. So yeah, we'll, we'll go a little further. So damage-wise, I'm not super blown away. It is hard mode with the spell, so it's not quite one-shot territory. It's going to be very useful against the annoying ghost boss. But we'll see about the other parts. Rip the other fairies, chat. I'll leave the rest of it to you. Please. Hurry. Oh, we cannot continue either. Please go on without us. Find our hero and save the mana tree. to shout. Save your breath. Huh? Where is this? What happened to us? You're finally awake. You okay? Looks like the Beastmen really did a number on you when they brought you back here to Chad's stronghold. Same here, unfortunately. Give me a moment, and I think I can get us all out. Now that the guards are gone, you've got a chance. Who, me? I'm Hawkeye! Wait for it. Wait for it. Quit your yakking! Keep quiet! Did you even notice the door's unlocked? <laughs> what a useless guard. It's what? Oh, you're right! Uh, but how? Oh, it's simple. Come over here and take a look. Keep staring at that spot. Good. <laughs> there, that's done. Come on, you really thought a lock like that was going to stop a professional thief? Wow. Oh, I've been tricked. No, I've been tricked. Sorry Chat saying hot oh, guys back. Let's True. Get out of here. Time we went our separate ways. You need to get to the docks. Hurry. You know his purple and red kind of matches well, our purple and red. Wendell, their forces are spread thin. We can catch that boat before it sets sail. I heard the townsfolk mention it before I got caught. You don't look so good. Offer a prayer to that mana statue, and you'll be healed completely. Yeah, I gotta go. Good luck.
I think potentially... Yeah, I was kind of saying earlier that I think his rogue thing would have paired pretty nicely with Angela if they'd just been going, like, pure magic damage equivalency. Alright, this time I'm gonna hit the switch. Let's see if you have something to give us, because we didn't get you last time. Are you offering aid in our time of need? Just drive out the Beastman, would you? Chad's Noble's Gratitude has granted you a new ability. Base MP increased by 10. Oh, that's... That's not bad. Hmm. I'll think about it. I don't need it like... Well, I could use it right now. I just have to make a decision. I guess it's how much healing do I want Charlotte to have. Yeah, it's not like game breaking, but nice. Probably don't care about her ambush then. Let's go for MP boost so she has more heals. If that gives me two extra heals. I think that's probably worth it to exchange. And later on, it'll go back to ambush. Her damage is not going to be very high anyway, so I'm, I'm basically giving up maybe one or two damage for uh, like 80 healing, which I, I'd rather have the 80 healing. I think they hit it into my slice. There's that lingering hitbox again. I feel like that shouldn't have worked, but it did. Nice one shot. You know, even in hard mode, I'm one shotting. Let it be known, chat. Like, you're all witnessing it. The one shot is real. Where was the other switch? I think it was the other side. Yeah, we murdered Carl outright. We'll go in there later. I think the switch I'm looking for is... One of them's at the other end of the hallway. It's bonking time, chat. So our money is actually looking pretty good at the moment. Yeah, there's a switch at the end of the hall. Or if that goes to the treasure that I need. There's an MP restore here, so I could take advantage of that maybe. So right now it only did about, like, three melees worth of damage. It's not great. But I might be able to combo into it. We'll see. I right, so I hit the switch that was there. Did that open the switch or the main gate one is the question. Also, I should probably restore my MP. So far, our allies are actually surprisingly not that injured. That healed exactly how much I thought it would give. Bonk. I think we're getting stronger. Yeah, there is something back here. Sounds like a door open somewhere. Okay, there we go. Maybe that was the switch for the treasure room. That's kind of unfair I can start my combat mid-stun combo. That does make the combat much easier. money is huge. All that meter is really good. So we're sitting at almost 2,000 in cash. That's really good. I could buy most of my healing that I need now. So Durin has a shield slot now. Interesting. 
Or I guess it was kind of like the other game. Maybe maybe it won't sell unless I go the light path. I'll heal in case I need it. I'm feeling pretty good. We've been taking most fights rather than skipping. Which, now that I know how to do the class strikes like that, makes the combat a little better for me. So I'm kind of mitigating how much damage our party's taking by swapping. Wow, look at that combo. Bonk. You must have taken out all the enemies nearby. Almost leveled. Yeah, that time the castle got wrecked for sure. Yeah, I want to make sure I level a little earlier because I don't want to go through the same thing I had to deal with where um, the stone door boss into the ninjas. I don't want to deal with that again. Oh, you aren't attacking me? Wait, God, can you get lost? Okay. Sure. <laughs> right, chat? Don't bark if you can't handle the bite, says the werewolf. Hmm. There we go. E canceling. Oh, that's right. The weapon store owner's gone. Forgot about that. So I guess we'll set sail and we'll end off in Jad. Probably won't let me exit here. I don't need to go here. Now must exit the docks. If I remember correctly, there's like an item to the right of the boat or something. Get aboard, quick. We're setting sail. So we might have to come back here later for it. No, hang on. Hawkeye isn't here yet. Please wait. Sorry, we have to cast off now. All aboard. Oh well, we'll get it later. Uh -oh. Wait for me. Just my luck. Well, take care on your journey. Poor Hawkeye left there to die. I don't know how we beat him out there. Yeah, see that? We couldn't get that because of the cutscene. I remember that from last time, but there's nothing I could do about it, I don't think. Unless I immediately checked the dock the first time we're there. Yeah, we wasted too much time. We have to get to Maya and find the rest of the elementals. Flee the harbor. Yeah, pretty much. See, so we're almost at the point where we could get little cactus. I think it's literally when we leave Maya. We get an opportunity to get them. But we'll save that for next time. So yeah, randomly negating damage is good for us because the AI is not going to dodge. Welcome to the Free City, Maya. Why don't we ask around town for ideas? So last time... Little Cactus was around here, so I'll remember to come back here later. Varian Walnut is good because that basically... We have basically five heal attempts with Charlotte, and a Fairy Walnut adds another five. And it'll scale up until she gets ten attempts out of it. So that's good for us. So we'll do enough to advance the plot. So we're in the Von Boyage's house. But we'll save at the end once we're done. Just that way we could just immediately go on to the next plot area later. Yes, yes, hello. I am Von Boyage, and you are? Oh, never mind. It hardly matters. You simply must see my invention. Wait for me in the backyard.
Okay, let's go in the backyard. <laughs> you want to know what this is, right? Right? Just wait. Hmm, there's only one easy way to Valsena from Maya, and that's the bridge. It's down a treacherous golden road, and it's full of monsters. <laughs> Hardly an effective or safe travel route. However, behold, with my new deluxe super cannon, you can reach it at one blast. It's the latest model, and I'm almost done. So, what do you think? Hmm? All right, so we don't know yet, but we know we can't take it because it's missing an ingredient. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of plot before he realizes we need a certain thing to basically act as gunpowder for the cannon. But for now, we'll just explore the town. Take what we can, upgrade what we can, move on. We know our cash totals are gonna be pretty good based off of how the previous playthrough went. So I can afford to get most weapon upgrades every time we see them. I do want to check if we could get certain healing items here yet or not. No, we can't. So we're already at two fairy walnuts, which is a lot of healing potentially. We're at 11 revives, which is probably good enough. I probably just want to buy 10 more candies preemptively. I don't think like I need a lot, a lot of candies. 80 was a bit overkill last time. I think 40 is probably good enough and we're already almost there. So that way the AI can use it as we walk around in other places. Oh, the weapon store never upgraded. Eek for chat. Want to ask around town for ideas, yeah. Pretty much what it boils down to every time we talk to them, sadly. I need a lot more experience if I want to change my class. It's time to start training! Ocean's calm today, good for sailing, yada yada. For Man of Stones, recognize the majesty the Hero King of Alcina knows the thing or two. So I like from Durin's, like, perspective, he basically went to Wendell and went, oh wait, I should go back, and his journey was just the one place. His journey kind of sucked, chat, <laughs> in hindsight. Tell him to do better. Oh, I thought there was an item back here. Never mind. No items. So I guess we'll see if we got any things any interesting things in the item C categories. Chocolate is exactly actually what I wanted from that. Because that's bonus healing. So now we have a reserve of one chocolate. Oh, two chocolate, because the most you can have in combat is nine. So we're actually looking okay for some of the upcoming bosses, and we still have 50. Just kind of neat. So I might as well as rest. I think our money total is excellent because I didn't skip fights. Let's skip the sleeping cutscene, and let's save here for now. Everybody's 666 in level. Nice. Let's chat. How do I feel the session's going so far? Well, I actually have to learn what combos do. Since normal mode was so easy that bum rushing the enemy was legitimately better than stunning them, <laughs> I didn't bother for like the first four hours to learn what those combos did. And honestly, by the time I got class upgrade, I didn't use them anyway. But this time around, because I'm very weak, I'm not a melee character for the most part when I play. There's a bit more variety in the combat, which I do find more interesting. And it's just kind of sad that you that you completely eliminate mechanics from the game because the DPS is too high. So it's not bad. The bosses are not any more difficult so far. It is the first boss of the game, but we did just perfect them. So it is what it is there. I'm swapping characters a little more 
since I'm getting a little more used to managing their CS, since I have now fully accepted in my heart that they are too stupid to use it unless they're at 100% usage. So with that in mind, I've been trying to swap leading into combat, which character would be good to use. I'm still not 100% comfortable with it in boss battles. Um, I still think AI is really stupid, so I, I don't think my opinion changes there at all. It's just that if we play healer characters, it's going to make up for the AI being dumb as long as they don't get one shot. So potentially I could put HP boost on Charlotte to stop her from being one shot, for example. And hopefully between uh, her ability and Durin's ability to revive on death, it'll make it feel less tedious, even though it's on hard mode, because they have a small chance of just not dying. And potentially two characters will have healing. So depending on if I go fully light or not, uh, we might end up getting AoE heal on Durin as well. I don't think I'm really going to take advantage of a lot of dark spells and stuff like that. I think I'll still go Dark Charlotte in this one because we never got to see what her other abilities were in the SNES anyway. So it, it's like it didn't really matter last time. So we'll still potentially take advantage of Elemental Sabers and buff up using items. So none of that will really change compared to the previous playthrough. Our damage potentially could be very high on Durin if we do that. And then I can focus on manually flinging spells with Angela and hoping that the AI dodges with her, perhaps. We'll see. I'm hoping that uh, the characters get synergies to buff their magic damage with each other. Right now, we have like a very tanky, somewhat high damage character with Durin, and everybody else's damage is just terrible. It's just, so, it's so bad right now. They're doing like 40% of it, or no, they're doing 60% of his damage. Sorry, wrong way. So definitely when he crits, it's like hilarious. It's like their entire combo is one crit hit from him. So the damage difference is already there and we've barely been in the game so far. So I imagine he's just gonna continue to pull further and further ahead exponentially, essentially. Charlotte, the Empress of Darkness. Maybe, I'm not sure if we'll go Necromancer or Warlock. I'll have to see what their passives are. And that is actually kind of annoying too because I can't check what those are before using the class items. But basically, I want to get like a super debuff, sort of like how we had uh, Reese debuff the enemy. I'd like a late game debuffer on our team. So that way we just immediately stat down them. Because I think Deadly Curse is what it's called or something like that for Charlotte. And then Durin should be able to saber himself or be sabered at some point in combat. And then Angela will hopefully just spam one spell the whole time. And it's going to require a lot of menuing with her, I have a feeling, in order to just be efficient with the spell usage. I don't think Durin will do a lot of damage even with the Elemental Saber, so I might even skip that in general. But potentially hitting enemy weakness with that might be worth it. We'll see. But anyway, those thoughts and feelings so far. I, so far, I'm neutral to the game. I think the first time I played, I mostly had fun in the beginning until we hit level 15 to 18 where i feel like there is a really unnecessary difficulty spike and then the rest of the game was way too easy especially after we got the other class upgrade that was like ultra free and chat's all what happened we went into the post game when we went into the post game it was literally one button combat so there is it was total brain off by the end so we'll see, maybe hard mode and not having all melee characters will provide a challenge, quote unquote, that I use mechanics of the game, but we'll see. But anyway, that's enough for now. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.